Simplicity of operations is paramount for VMware and our customers. This is one of the reasons why we've added a new simplified cluster shutdown and restart workflow for vSAN environments. Let's see how this works in a soon to be released edition of vSAN. Once a desired cluster is highlighted within vCenter server, the administrator can now simply right click on the cluster and select vSAN shutdown cluster. This will perform an automated pre-check of over a dozen elements of the cluster to ensure that a graceful shutdown can proceed forward. This feature even supports the ability to shut down the cluster when the vCenter server resides within the cluster. With this example, the vCenter server runs outside of the cluster. Once the pre-check is complete, the workflow will power off all of the system VMs in the cluster. vSAN will then disable elements of the cluster to ensure the consistency of the data and management plane, followed by powering off each host within the cluster. When the administrator is ready to power on the cluster, they can simply power on all of the hosts and in vCenter server, highlight the cluster and select vSAN restart cluster. This will run through a series of steps to ensure the cluster is powered up properly and ready for production workloads to resume. Making vSAN simple to operate not only eases the burden on an administrator to perform tasks quickly and easily, but it can also result in a more consistent and predictable operating environment.